Hello. My name's Ephraim LaSalle. I come here courtesy of Raccoon Records. This is a five-minute university, and I'm here to talk to you about Skokie and the neo-Nazis. You may or may not have heard of this incident. It happened during the 1970s. I have no idea what the year was, and I really don't care. The point was this. A bunch of fun-loving guys wanted to parade around and um, say uh, things that Nazis say in an area of the planet that happened to have the most Holocaust survivors. Real nice, huh? So they petitioned to, to march there, and the city of Skokie, which is about, uh, 15 miles northwest of Chicago um, um, passes a law uh, that prohibits uh, marching, I think, with military insignias. Well, someone, perhaps the ACLU, that ever um, enigmatic group that loves controversy, um, at any rate, Eventually, the Supreme Court says, oh, no, 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 you can't make a law post facto. I forget the phrase. It's in the Constitution. Um, uh, But then again, there are lots of things in the Constitution that get ignored every day. But back to Skokie. Something interesting happened at Skokie, and I got this from an eyewitness who was a teenager there at the time. A lot of people assume that the neo-Nazis marched at Skokie. They never marched at Skokie. I think they marched marched at some area of Chicago. Why'd they march in Chicago? Because someone tipped them off to something, which was that while the Holocaust survivors that these sadists wanted to, to torture with the memory of the Nazis um, were old and infirm, but their kids were not And they were angry. And they bought a lot of guns. And they were going to shoot and kill a bunch of those nice neo-Nazis. And suddenly, interestingly, um, when they got tipped off to this, they suddenly weren't so uh, macho and strong and brave. And they uh, agreed to march in Chicago. Nice, huh?